Veteran Salute is sponsored by the Devon James Injury Lawyers. Helping supply fighter jets in the mid-70s led the way for one Kansas veteran to save taxpayers thousands of dollars. Kia Santana Adamson and photojournalist Nick Kiefer have this week's Veteran Salute. As a boy, Willard Rice would help his father work in his mechanic shop. Little did he know his experience would lead him to work on military equipment, a career he says got his start after a classmate's father stopped by to drop off his lunch. His dad walked into the classroom in an Air Force uniform. That's when a young Willard Rice decided he would wear that same uniform. His dream coming true in 1976, getting his start as a supply chain manager for F-4 fighter jets in the Philippines before transitioning to surveillance aircraft back in the States. It was a, a device called a klaxon, which would be equivalent to like a siren. And when that activated, I mean, get out of the way because we were headed to uh, the hangar. Rice would continue to serve as a supply chain technician in Kansas before transitioning to communication electronics, becoming the leader of a mobile radar unit deploying around the world. We could roll into a site uh, and all this equipment is packed up on trucks and vans and in 72 hours, you're up, you're operational, and you're tracking uh, 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 airspace. We actually, you know, intercepted uh, uh, Russian aircraft. Skills that would prove crucial during Desert Storm. People were getting lost in the desert. So uh, uh, the commanders at the time gave an emergency tasking to get global positioning systems on all deployable aircraft. We worked around the clock for several weeks to get that done, uh, but we finished in less time than they thought it would take us. After Desert Storm, Rice would come back to Kansas, taking his skills underground, installing fiber optics in base networks. We started out at, with McConnell and had a very interesting challenge with McConnell and that uh, we had to uh, connect the east and the west uh, side of the base, uh, but you have two active runways uh, uh, to, to uh, get around. His innovative solution saving taxpayers thousands of dollars. I see these lines on the base, not on the uh, plans, on the, uh, on, on the plans, so I asked what that was, and they said, oh, those are old sewer lines. I said, well, can we put our fiber in them? And everybody looked at and they go, well, I don't know. I said, well, let's call Roto-Rooter or somebody and find out if we can do that. Rice would receive the Meritorious Service Medal for his work on the project upon his retirement in 1996. To be recognized for work you do on a project like that, you know, at, you know, at that level, that, that really was special to me. Rice would retire a senior master sergeant. He would go on to receive his master's degree in management information systems. Here for you, Hannah Adamson, KSN News 3. On behalf of Devon James Injury Lawyers, we're honored to recognize Air Force veteran Willard Rice, who served our country all over the Far East and then came back here to McConnell. Thank you so much for your service. Well, I'd like to thank the Devon James organization for supporting the veterans. Veteran Salute is sponsored by the Devon James Injury Lawyers.